Welcome to Guitar Apprentice, the world's fastest way to start playing hit songs on the guitar. Before we start rocking, there's a few things we want to let you know. The best part about Guitar Apprentice is that while you're learning, you don't have to play all the chords that make up the guitar part. In fact, on the first level, you'll only play a few of them. Guitar Apprentice will play the song, supplying all the guitar chords except for the ones it tells you to play. Guitar Apprentice will indicate which chords you play, when you should play them, and which fingers to use on each string. You'll see each of your parts coming towards you on a floating guitar fretboard. Each one moves down the screen and drops into place at the moment you should play it. You play the chords indicated on the screen and Guitar Apprentice plays the rest. As you move up through the levels, you will play more and more of the chords until you're finally playing the entire song. Before we get started, pull out your guitar and make sure it's in tune. You'll need to have it out for this next part, so if it's not on your lap, press pause now and go get it. If you're holding your guitar, let's continue. By the way, you can use either an electric or acoustic guitar with Guitar Apprentice. Either one will work. Even though they sound different in tone, the same chords are played on both. You'll notice that some Guitar Apprentice songs are recorded with an acoustic guitar and others with an electric, but there's no reason you can't learn a rock song on an acoustic guitar or a folk song on an electric. Just use what you have. Now let's take a minute to learn how the guitar diagram on your screen is oriented to your guitar. If you're right-handed, you'll notice that the necks on the screen are oriented just like you're looking into a mirror holding your own guitar. This is designed so your hands move in the same direction as what you're seeing on screen. The uppermost string on screen corresponds to the uppermost string on your guitar. Your guitar's bottom string, called the first string, corresponds to the bottom string on screen. Guitar strings are counted from the bottom up, from the first to the sixth string. If you're left-handed, your guitar neck will face the opposite way from the on-screen necks, but your strings will be on the same on-screen, top to bottom. Now these metal strips on the guitars are called frets. When you press down on a string just to the left of a fret, it changes the note that the string plays, but you probably already knew that. With Guitar Apprentice, you'll see colored dots indicating where you'll press down on the right strings. The color of the dots indicate which fingers of your left hand will be used to fret each note. There's a hand diagram that shows which finger goes with which color. If a string is supposed to be played without pressing any frets, we call that an open string, and it can be indicated with an orange dot at the end of the string. Most of what you play during a song will be chords. That means more than one note played at the same time, like this. Chords have letter names that will be shown at the right end of the on-screen guitar necks. During some sections, like during a solo, you'll be playing single notes. Those note names will appear above the neck right over each note's colored dot. When you're first starting and are unfamiliar with how a chord is played, as it approaches, you can simply pause the DVD and find where your fingers go, then unpause it and play along. The demonstration footage on the screen at the top should help a lot when you're figuring out how to hold your hands at first. In this screenshot, you can see that the red dots at the second fret on the third and fourth strings would be fretted with your index finger. Remember, when you see an orange dot at the end of the string to the far left, it means that string is to be played open or without pressing down on that string. Together, these three notes make up a chord called A. You can see on the hand diagram that red dots tell you to use your index finger. Yellow is the middle finger, a green dot is for your ring finger, and blue means use your pinky. Remember, only play the strings indicated. In this case, your right hand, the one that's holding the pick, plucks only three strings. The rest of the strings should remain silent. Go ahead and try making this A chord. You can also tell just how long you should let the notes sound by how long the strings on the screen keep glowing. They light up at the moment you first play the chord and continue to glow for as long as you're supposed to let the chord sound. That's really all there is to it, but before we start rocking, let me show you one last little hint that will really help you out a lot. You'll notice that there are marks on the necks at frets 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on. 
Your guitar may have simple dots or small diamonds on these locations, but they serve the same purpose. They're just there to help you find your place. They provide a quick visual reference to let you know where you are on the neck. Take notice of them now and you'll save yourself a lot of frustration. Well, that's it. Everything you need to know to start rocking with Guitar Apprentice, at least at the first level. When you're ready to start moving up, be sure to watch the Moving Up Between Levels video. It will help a lot when making the jump to higher levels.